So you want to clone your hard drive. You could be doing this for two main reasons that I can think of. One is to clone it to a new hard drive or solid state drive, or something that's faster and you're going to be putting that in your computer and you don't want to lose anything. And the second reason is just for a backup hard drive, just to have, just to be safe. So the first thing you want to do is go to your system preferences and you want to go to security and privacy and you want to unlock this screen by typing in your password and then you want to make sure that anywhere is selected it already is for me it'll probably be one of these two for you so make sure anywhere is selected and you can exit out of that then you want to go to the internet and you want to google carbon copy cloner and you want to go to the one by Bombitch. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right and then you want to just download the trial. Start your 30 day trial now, download it. All you need is the trial version. You're going to use it one time and it has every feature you need. So now go to your downloads and open that. Go to decompress. You can open the file now. See, this is from your security that we just answered, so you're able to open it. If we didn't do that, you wouldn't be allowed to open it. You can move it to your applications folder if you'd like, if you want to keep it. But I'm not going to keep it, so I'm just going to hit don't move. And just, just hit the trial version. It'll count down, and then you're ready to go. So this is all you need to do software-wise. You have everything you need. The next thing you'll need is a hard drive enclosure. This is where you can put the new hard drive in to plug it into your computer via USB. So once you get one of these, which are pretty cheap, this is a USB 3.0, so it's a little faster than the regular 2.0 ones. Once you get one of these, all you need to do is take your hard drive. I'm using my old hard drive, and you just need to plug it in. So just shim it in there. Pop this cover on if you'd like. And it comes with screws where you could screw it in, but I don't need to do that since this is going to be a real quick thing and then you're ready to go. Just plug in the USB on that end and plug this end in on the computer and we're set to go. Okay so back on the Mac let's plug in the hard drive. Now I've used this hard drive before so it already does have a format so it'll pop up here. Yours might not. So what you want to do especially if it's brand new. So what you want to do is go to Disk Utility. And see, I have a bunch of hard drives, but what you want, you see external. So this is the one. So you want to click on that one. Make sure you click on the right one. And you want to go to Erase. And you want to make sure it's OS 10 Extended Journaled. and it's the GUID partition map and you can name it anything you'd like so I'll say backup because that's what I'm going to be using it as then hit erase it'll do its thing for a second it'll ask me if I want to use it as a time machine disk uh, I don't want that so I'm going to say do not use and it's done. So then you're going to go back to your carbon copy cloner. You're going to pick your source. So I want that source to be my SSD. Again, you'll probably only have two options here if you have a regular Mac. I'm actually using a Hackintosh with a couple hard drives in it. So use your SS or whatever your main, your you know original hard drive is that's in the computer as your source. Make your destination the, the new one, so mine will be backup. So now it's going to copy everything from the source to the destination. And now you can schedule this to do to do it whenever. On a monthly base basis, you know, whatever you'd like, hourly basis. But I'm just going to make it do it one time, so I don't need to do that. So you want to clone all your files. You could do selected files if you'd like. I'm just going to leave safety net on and I don't need an email. So then I'm going to hit clone. It's going to ask me for my password again. So. 
and there it goes. Okay, so it finished the backup, and now it's asking me if I want to um, copy the recovery partition to the this new hard drive we're copying to. And it says you should do that if you're using the hard drive in the computer. So if you're replacing your hard drive with this new one, you should do it. But if you're using it as a backup, you don't really need to. But I'm going to do it anyway just to be safe. And you, I think you should do that too. So click Create Recovery Volume. And... Yeah, just confirm that. Okay, so it is completely done. It's telling me that the recovery um, partition isn't going to be visible unless you hold the option key when you boot up. So you can just press OK and you're done. So you can just exit out of that. And you can open this up and you can see that it is all your files, has all your stuff in it, everything. So you're done um, copying. You have a successful backup or new hard drive. So if you like this video, please hit that like button for me, leave a comment, and uh, thank you guys.